Welcome back to The Evil Within 2. Let's try our hands at the next, more difficult shooting range exercise before continuing on. In gallery mode, that is. So we've done easy, normal... Oh, we did hard. So let's try very hard. Alright, <laughs> it's creepy looking. Here we go. Oh my god, that was terrible! Just... no. Alright, I gotta pick a target because they keep moving and just focus on it and then do the others. Or maybe do the ones that are still first and then focus on the moving ones. Oh my god! I suck! Very hard is very hard. I mean, I guess that makes sense. Alright, one more try. Last try, I promise. Christ. <laughs> it's like impossible. I heard a rat. Where? I quit. Certainly better than I anticipated, but you can sharpen your skills a bit more. I got Cowboy. Oh, I just made it to the second out of three ranks. Got a locker key. Nice. Well, I'm going to use the locker key and the other stuff later. Let's head back. Alright, what was it? Exit? I was gonna say D2. It's D5. What was that? I saw a prompt. I don't know what it was. weapon parts. So what are we looking at? Ooh, another fairly large open place. Save it and go outside. Thank <laughs> you. 
Sounds like there's a boss on the loose. Theater. I'm coming for you. So cool looking. One of those. Do I have some sniper rounds? I do. Alright, I'll use them. Maybe I should just use that on this one. No, I refuse to waste my axe. Is this the end of the world up here? Yeah, it doesn't go any more north. Oh, the theater is just right there. It's probably going to be the last place I visit, though. Could be something around back, though. Some boxes or something. Nothing but a mailbox. <sighs> Crap, I didn't mean to throw it. I wasn't in cover. Okay, so they do respond to light sometimes. There's a lock on this door. It looks like if I had a key, I could open it. Hmm. Intriguing. Can I see inside? Not really.
Okay, that time I got the red prompt to pop up. Although it seems to kind of flash on and off. I don't know why. This isn't the theater, is it? No. Looks like guts hanging on there. Ooh, a fuse. So, even burned bodies can turn into monsters. They're burning the bodies. <laughs> Shit! Uh, seriously? <laughs> really? The same boss? It's not a boss, it's just like a normal enemy? I'm sure I can jump up here. Oh, I've got no electric ones, damn it. Alright, now... No, no, not that. Now would be a good time to use... A medkit. Oh, hi! <laughs> I 
They're going a different way. That's good for me. I... Oh, I actually did use it. Oh, Christ. I really was not fi uh, not expecting to see that thing again. I thought that was a one-time boss. Oh, this one gave me less green gel than the other one. No shotgun ammo. Where the hell was I? I was over here somewhere. Oh yeah. What the? <sighs> Bunch of them over there. Oh, oh Christ. It's a lot of them. I see seven. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the safe house and just go drink some coffee. And probably make some ammo, too. I'll be right back. Alright, I think I'm going to spend my gel on Toughness 3 and Defiance 1. So this is gonna increase my life gauge up by 25 more percent. And Defiance will make it so I'll survive if an attack would have barely just killed me. So a nice increase to survivability. And then after that, I don't know. Perhaps I might start going into more combat. Uh, it looks like there's a really nice ability here. After getting Firing Stance 2, I can get Bullet Cascade. It says for a set amount of time, shooting damage is increased with each consecutive shot. The effect ends when either time or ammunition runs out. So if you're trying to just like wail on, an, on a boss, for example, or any sort of a tough enemy, and you're just shooting it again and again, that can be very valuable depending on how much it increases the damage by. So yeah, I might go for that next. Let's grab some things. Oh, there's another one. Ah. And we get to open a locker. Three thousand. Okay. Is that enough to get the next combat thing? Ah, uh, not quite for firing stance. Okay, let's go make some ammo. Oh, and also upgrade our weapons. I think we have two hundred and something weapon parts. Yeah, two fifty-five. So what was I thinking of getting? I think is it firepower? Oh yeah, okay, so I already got this one for the shotgun. The one that gives it a 20% chance of critting when hitting a weak point. So that's good. 5% damage increase for 240 freaking parts. That just does not seem worth it. I hate it. Let's do the sniper. Sniper rifle seems really good. 15 more percent damage. That's good. Yeah, again, reload time and fire rate don't seem very important to me. So let's go with firepower. Alright. Make three of these. Oh. oh, I actually don't even have that many uh, nails. Guess I'll just make two. Three of those. Ah, I don't even have a med kit. I'm gonna use up all my gunpowder on this. 
Uh, I'll make five. And I guess one thing of this? Leaving me with one gunpowder? Damn. Okay, back to checking out the gas station. It looks like they're staying over there, which is good. Sorry, I just really like to honk the horns. Okay. Shall we go for them? <laughs> what the fuck? Sebastian, I hate you. That ability sucks. What the hell is that? Whoa, they throw axes. Bet you can't get me. Oh. Interesting. Three down, what, four more to go? Did they see something? Or they just making noises. Ah! 
Didn't didn't really have a plan there. Nope, not the right angle. Gotta keep going. Too clustered. No, no, I want you to do a stomp, not that. It's too slow. Got him. You got a powerful leg, Sebastian. And that's the... Theater again, yes. Sniper rifle ammo pouch. Safe house. That one's surprisingly close to this one. Let's go to this unknown resonance. Monster is going to come out of it. Oh, hello. I was thinking maybe the monsters came out of the other foot that went down, because around where it came out, that's where that huge cluster was, but maybe not. Maybe just a coincidence. Sounds like one of those fast lowdown things on board the train. I don't like it being so close. I think I want to take it out. Let's do the train first. Oh, wait. Something's coming from over here. Oh, it is. Well, I've, I mean, I've got an axe. Let's try to use it. train, I think. <laughs> I don't think Bax knew that. <laughs> oh! 
I didn't know they could do that. <gasps> Let's try the sniper. Things have a lot of health. Oh, maybe, maybe I don't want to go off that way. Or that way. Hey, buddy. Just as I remembered it as a child, so this is something that's been, what, I, I don't know, growing for a long time? Oh, this time it definitely sees me.
Yeah, it helps to turn off your light, Sebastian. What's it doing this time? Wait, I thought that was a mirror. Is that not a mirror? Thing want from me? Did you some? Oh, it opened. Why are you showing me this? From back then. Oh. Hey. This room. Something I'm not seeing. Ah, one of them's lit in the reflection. Which one is it? This one? I think it's this one. Yeah, this is different. So now I gotta look at the reflection, but deal with her. <laughs> Okay. One from the end. So, that one, I think.
Something's wrong. Why is that thing chasing me again? Good. I can leave this time. All right. Um, let's go south. Check out this building and then maybe that one. See two of them with fire. Oh, three of them. What are they? Are they running circles around a pile of burning bodies? Huh. Is that some sort of ritual thing? Say, this pile of dead bodies isn't going to spawn another one of those, like, mini-bosses, is it? That's not a thing every pile does, is it? Right? Thank God it doesn't seem to be. So, yeah, there's no getting inside that building. Is a good place to stock up on bottles. Barkeep's journal. The final entry in this well-worn journal. The tap room's been booming. Business is good. Lots of new faces in Union these days. They're arriving by the train load and they're thirsty. If it keeps up like this, I'll finally be able to afford some beer taps. Pete complains about the crowds, but I say the more the merrier. He's always been cantankerous, but lately he's been acting extra weird. He sits there in his usual spot, giving new customers the stink eye and mumbling to himself. I would cut him off, but he's always been my best customer.
Oh yeah, that's not creepy at all. I'm sure something's not gonna just jump out of here. Right? Miss that? Stock rifle ammo pouch. Gotta go get that. Sebastian just pulled a large stone out of the trash and then threw it away like it's worthless, but couldn't you use that for a distraction just like a bottle? What the? Somehow I went to the wrong place. Uh, let's get the handgun bullets. Up here and a little bit on the right. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Come on, Sebastian. Yeah. Nope. Oh, enemies over there. Whoa. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Shit. Okay, come on. Search the body quick. Someone's in trouble. I'm not going to be totally reckless and just run in there. I'm low on ammo, but... Set straight there. Come on. Are they inside of the truck? Ah, shit, I can't go that way. Oh, shit. Damn, he's gonna get mobbed. Come on. Is this a time sensitive thing? I do not know, but I can do some crowd control. I've got the warden crossbow. I can shock them. I can blow them up. Oh, they disappeared. Okay. Um. Okay. 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 We got a bit of time. Wait. Oh, no, never mind. Okay, okay, this is like a mob encounter. So stealth is disabled. Gotcha. Don't hurt me a little bit, don't worry. I need crowd, con crowd control. Sprint, Sebastian. Sprint. Yeah. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking hell, yeah, for some reason sometimes my smoke alarm just decides to beep. Battery might be low. Christ, that was fucking loud. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, shit. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Oh, there's more? Oh, Christ, there's more. There's more! There's a lot of them. From over there. Holy shit, I think I got all of them. Oh! They don't instantly die. Oh, they don't all- they don't die at all! Fuck! Alright, come on. Ooh. Oh, Christ. <laughs> I have no pistol rounds left. Alright, here we go. Yes, I see them. Doing something. Fuck. I think it was Defiance that saved me there. Fuck. I was trying to heal. <laughs> Keep blowing myself up. Oh, I did like nothing. I suck at hard encounters. All right, try number four. Give me a sec here, because I'm, like, basically dead. Yep, yep, I see them. I wish it would let me play before they're, like, almost at me. Like, Sebastian's just like, what do I do? And then they're, like, in my face.
Okay. Oh, I've got like no ammo, dude. We good? You just saved my ass. I didn't think anyone would come. You're from the search team. How did you end up here? I was looking for something. And what would that be? Look, it's dangerous out here. Come to my safe house so we can talk. Lead the way. Come on. I just want to restate that exchange for a second. You're from the search team. What were you what were you looking or what were you doing? I was searching for something. A member of the search team searching for something. Checks out. This is so satisfying. I think that's it. Alright, let's head inside. I need some coffee. Come on in. They can't get in here. Thanks again for helping me out. I'm Sykes. Sebastian Castellanos. Castellanos, huh? I've heard of you. You survived the Beacon incident, right? How do you know that? I'm a STEM programmer, but I've got other skills too, like hacking information systems. I know all kinds of things that nobody else knows, not even other members of the team. Then you know who Lily is. Yeah, but we're all trying to find her. Haven't had any luck though. That's why you're here, huh? That's right. But if you can't help me with that, then we've got nothing else to discuss. Good luck. Hey, hold on. We might still be able to help each other out. This better be good. Look, there's a bunch of stuff in here that you could probably use. And you can have it for saving me out there. You want to hear my proposal? Come on back to me. I'm listening. All right, I'm all ears. How can we help each other? I need you to restore the server inside the mirror. It should be easy enough as long as none of those freaks are around. Here's where it's located. Hold on, I haven't agreed to anything yet. What's in it for me? You do that for me? I can open up all the locked supply caches for you. Ah. And what's in it for you? If you get the server on, I may be able to find another way out of Union. There's really a way to get out of Union? I'm not 100% sure, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it a try. They've lost contact with STEM. We're totally cut off. If we don't find the core, we're all gonna die in here. Unless I can figure a way out. How is that possible? You really want me to waste your time talking a bunch of technical gibberish? All I have to do is turn it on? How did the server go offline in the first place? All I'm saying is if you turn on that server, I can give it a shot. Look at this place. It's breaking apart out there. I'm surprised anything is working. But then again, Mobius probably turned it off themselves. They've got all kinds of emergency protocols in place. And you're questioning the almighty Mobius? Hey. I don't mind being a grunt, but the moment I become expendable, well, that's when I start to look for the exit door. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So, you gonna help me out or not?
Well, I'm in desperate need of supplies right now, so I definitely want to unlock those caches. Ah, of course there's one here too. So that's two that I've found so far. But I could get it open if you're willing to help. <sighs> the cup's disgusting. <laughs> Only one I've got, man. <laughs> Castianos is very abrasive. I mean, granted, these Mopius operatives have shown themselves to be complete dicks in general, just by the things they've said, but... Still. Alright, well, I think it's a pretty good place to end this episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I think I'm going to go do that little favor and try to unlock the supply caches.